donuts, bow nuts, crow nuts, and now we have no nuts. Thank you for watching Hungry Buddies. Today we have no nuts in the kitchen. We start with six cups of bread flour. Or if you don't have a bread flour, you can use all-purpose flour. Whatever you have in your kitchen is okay. Then, one eight teaspoon of baking soda. To go with, two teaspoons of salt. Fine salt, not rock salt. If you have rock salt, just pound it so it will be fine. Then, mix it together with the flour. Next, we have the shortening. You can also use cooking oil, but because I don't have cooking oil and I have this lard, then I will use it. We have six tablespoons of lard or six tablespoons of cooking oil. Whatever you have in your kitchen is fine. We are home cooking. So, we will be making a rustic no nuts. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be very well shaped. Okay, then we have one cup of granulated sugar. Next, two tablespoons of yeast. I'm using instant yeast. Make sure your yeast is still alive. So, mix them well together with your flour. And remove all the lumps from our... Remember, we have the lard. So, we have to mix them together. And then, two whole eggs. Well, to make our mixture soft, we have to add one and one fourth cup of the evaporated milk and mix it with one fourth cup of water. And then mix it with your hand. If you don't have an electric mixer, this is the best. Or you can use also a ladle, a wooden ladle but no problem we have our hands then when they are all mixed together let's clean the countertop and transfer the dough so we can work them well on the countertop with sprinkles of flour so it won't stick and then you have to work or knead the dough Keep kneading until your dough are well or is well incorporated. See, our dough gets sticky. That's a good sign. And our no knots will be soft. And to help with the dough, we can use oil on your hand. So it won't be very sticky and also use the bench scraper to bring them all together and when this dough gets like this it's okay to slam the dough that would help in the formation of gluten in our dough okay then when you feel they are all together they form a ball transfer your dough on a bowl with oil as i said you can put oil in your hand so your dough won't be too sticky on your hand 
okay then transfer it onto an, a bowl with oil and then let it rise and after it has risen double in size you can flatten your dough like this and then cut them into pieces and roll it with your hands or onto the countertop and make sure it doesn't stick so always sprinkle some flour by the time you are done with the whole dough you can go back to the first one and then that you formed and then with hot oil and your pot we will deep fry one by one like so now you see your no nuts are expanding make sure your fire is not on high it should only be on uh, medium it's getting brownish now it's time to turn and pick them up and put them on the paper towel so all the oil will be absorbed by the paper towel you won't be eating a greasy one then let it cool and voila put it on the plate drizzle it with granulated sugar or you can add also cinnamon and then shake it and put it on your plate and eat it for your breakfast with your hot coffee or cocoa thank you for watching hungry buddies i hope you like our recipe today see you next time bye